It's good to see you this morning. Thank you for joining us. Come on with us to 3rd John. I would like to talk this morning about the nature of the church, the nature of the kingdom, before it is turned back to God. Of course, at judgment. In 3rd John, at verse 9, the Apostle John says, I wrote to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. Jesus said, it is impossible that no offenses should come in Luke chapter 17. We need to understand, as long as the church is on this earth, that the wheat and the tares grow together. Now, now sometimes men's sins are clearly evident, and you, and you can deal with them, but sometimes hypocrisy and sometimes other things come up, and, and you just have to recognize that it is impossible that no offenses should come. There will be stumbling blocks that we have to overcome in the church. There will be hypocrites. There will be those that we cannot Im imitate, and we, we need to understand that, and we need to be mentally prepared for it. What we need, the next verse, John says, Therefore, if I will come, I will call to mind his deeds which he does, and he would deal with the issue. What the church needs, it needs people who can handle the, that problem, who, who could handle that problem. Here, of course, you have John, the apostle, talking about it. But that's why a church needs elders. Other passages talk about elders stopping the mouths uh, of those who had no business teaching what they were teaching. That is the purpose of a church having elders. That is how Jesus built his church. That is what Jesus wants in his church. So then the question is, okay, what happens in a church that does not have elders? Because it does not have men who are qualified to be elders. It's going to be real hard to deal with, with certain issues because you won't have anyone stepping up to handle it. And, and there will probably be some question about whether someone has authority to handle it or things like that. We could talk more about that. Um, but you need someone who will deal with the issue. And that's what John, John says that he would deal with it when he came. Now verse 11, he says, Do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Uh, then at verse 12 he says, Demetrius has a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. And he's calling them to imitate Demetrius. Yes, there, there are folks in the church who are tares. Um, there are folks who you do not imitate. But hopefully there are people who you can imitate, like Demetrius. Verse 2 he says, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. How would you like that? If, if your well-doing was tied together with your soul's well-doing. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. Hope to see you tomorrow.